welcome to my channel so on this video i want to share with you some information about uh the consciousness levels that we have as as every living and existing thing on the planet understand but more especially humans because this is our map of consciousness levels so i'm going to explain this diagram right here and later on maybe on the second video i'm going to explain how this links up to the fact that we are already in hell you understand so i'm one of those people who say that like we are already in hell you know it's not like when we die we are going to hell i believe that we are already in hell so yeah i'm one of those but as i said i'm going to explain this consciousness scale first you understand this map of consciousness that's what they call it yeah but as you can see at the bottom here we have like 20 you see the level of consciousness at 20 here you will find emotions such as shame, you know. So shame is probably the lowest. When you're feeling shame, when you're ashamed of yourself or feeling shame in any way out of form, then you are on this level of consciousness at the bottom, you know. So if you are at this level of consciousness, then you are more or less likely to be on the equal level of consciousness with like like a cat or a dog you understand you have emotions you have the ability to be aware of your emotions but then you you don't have like you don't you have no control of your emotions you understand when you add shame here there's nothing that you can do you understand so relating it back to the fact that uh, we, are, we are already in hell I would say that when you are at a level of shame here then you are sure that you are going to like if you're living at this and you're feeling comfortable at this level of consciousness right here below then just know that you are still going to reincarnate on this life like on this dimension you understand you're still going to come back here to fix your karma you have a lot of work to do compared to someone who's at fear here. At least someone who's at fear, they are able to like have desires, you know. They are able to like generate energy, you know, within themselves. So when you're at this bottom here, like your energy is very, very low that you, can, you can't, you, you pretty much can't, unless you, you rise above, like unless you, you feel guilty or, like you feel like you feel like you need someone to feel for you you understand that's when at least you will be able to rise above that and then when you reach at fear here then that's when you'll be able to at least have desires to say okay i want to feel better now i, I, I just want to stop being angry and stuff like this so when you get here you will now discover what's making you angry or whatever that's been causing you to not be yourself you understand and then as we go above we reach at the level where it says courage now when you reach courage here that's where now you are at least now starting to gain energy you understand you're starting to gain a lot of energy you know life is becoming exciting life is becoming now like those things that you were feeling shame of and you were grieving maybe or maybe you were fearful of you are starting to overcome them as time goes on you understand so when you add courage here life just becomes exciting you know you have at least there's there's like reasons for you to live you know you have a level of empowerment you can now like find ways to accumulate energy you understand so now when you when you rise a little bit above here you start to vi to vibrate with the positive energies you understand you start to vibrate with the positive energies because remember guys 
like I said, you know, I'm still going to use this analogy that we are already in hell, you understand? So, when you're at this low level, where it's like yellowish and like orange, then you are still like, if I can put it in those terms, in religious terms, I, I could say that you are still in hell, you understand? And then your purpose is to rise up and fill up your energy right up to the bottom, like right up to the top, right? So when you reach enlightenment, then you'll be able to know what the purpose is that you came here for, you understand? So right now we're still at neutrality, right? So say that you're at neutrality. How will you notice that? You, you are going to become a little bit more confident in yourself, you know. You are going to have that that uh, positive self-talk nature that is just going to come to you. You're just going to find yourself being a little bit motivated towards your, like, your attitude is going to be much more positive and you, you will be able to accept and, like, you're just going to be able to transcend from those negative destructive energies to now the positive creative energies you understand and then that's when you're going to be able to you know to overcome the the inner resistance to do anything you know you're still gonna learn to overcome like you know when you come from those lower emotions you will probably like come up with so many mental problems you understand you might come out still having anxiety and stuff like that you understand but rising up above this doesn't mean that your anxiety is going to heal you might reach an enlightenment there and still find yourself like having the, the very same problems you know being depressed but it's not going to be like when you're at the bottom it's just going to be episodes there and there you understand but like i said when you're at neutrality here then you'll be able to look forward in life. You you want to grow and overcome all of those things that have been holding you up. You understand? So now, once you become willing to like operate with life, basically, you know, to do the things that you want to do and you know, walk through life instead of like being destructive, then you'll be able to now accept most of the things that you couldn't accept before, you understand? Because now you're going to gain more logic, I mean, more reasoning, more intelligence, and you're going to see that whatever that you were going through, it, it was because of merely the lack of knowledge that you that, that you had a problem with, you understand? You didn't have enough knowledge, so I guess you didn't know better, so then you will you'll be able to have reasons you know you'll be able to explain to yourself why this why that you understand and that's being creative basically that shows that now you are using the creative energies of the universe you know you are not you are no longer like self-destructing you understand you don't even have time for desires you just want to expand and grow and stuff like that so basically when you when you reach the level of reasoning when you reach now a, a little bit above reason, you find that, that you land straight on love, you understand? People thought that the highest, maybe the, like the most important emotion is love, you understand? Whereas love is basically what allows you to tap into the... Like the universal consciousness, you know, the God consciousness. So, if you don't operate on love and you operate on fear, you will never, like, connect to the God, you understand, that has created you. So, like, technically, you are connected to the devil, you understand? As you can see there, it's red, it's fiery there at the bottom, you know, it's fire. So, you gotta ascend, guys. So, anyway... When you reach love, it doesn't mean that you're going to like fall in love or stuff like that. But it means that you are now going to 
naturally feel love. You understand? You're going to love yourself. You're going to find ways that encourage you. Like the universe is just going to throw you with situations that show you that you need to love yourself more or that you are really loving yourself more. You understand? More than where you were when you when you were feeling like fear and shame and stuff like that so the universe is going to show you now that oh now you love yourself i'm going to give you more of that so that's basically why they say the law of attraction is real you understand because you're pulling against opposites so basically when you're at the neutral there that's when you're gonna be able to see that the natural, I mean, the law of attraction actually works, you understand? Because when you're at neutrality there, you're going to be able to notice when you attract, like, negative and destructive energies, you understand? And you're going to be able to uh, notice when you attract creative energies, you understand? But considering that you have reached at least the level of love, joy, peace, you understand if you haven't reached those levels then like you won't you won't be convinced that you being able to reason is you being able to create you understand it's you being creative or you dancing with the creative energy so once you reach peace and enlightenment then you, you're gonna be able to fully get the view of like the opposite of shame you understand shame and fear and all of those negative emotions you're gonna be able to fully see the opposite for what it is you know and you're gonna always want to gravitate towards being enlightened you understand everything you're just gonna find everything enlightening you're gonna find the good in everything you're gonna find like you're just gonna life is just gonna be like you're gonna co-create with within every moment of your life you understand so that's where you're gonna be able to attract like positive things in your life, prosperity, stuff like that, you understand? So, right, you are still at love. When you're at love, you're going to feel like, you know, you're going to feel happiness. You're going to feel truly happy, like from within, with or without, like, a partner. You're just going to feel happy within yourself, you understand? Like, you might feel, you might feel lower than happy, but you will still find the happiness as long as you are operating on love you understand instead of fear so fear causes anxiety but as soon as you reach here on love the anxiety might, might just drop a little bit but once you reach at enlightenment boom it's gone with the anxiety and but you know anxiety is something else anxiety is caused by how you respond to the environment you understand so you might become enlightened but how you respond to that enlightening, th those enlightening experiences, it might cause anxiety, you understand? So, anxiety has nothing to do with this scale, basically. This scale has all to do with, like, how you feel, you know? So, if, you are at, if, I, if I could put it now in, in those terms to say that we are in hell or heaven, I would say that when you are, enli when you are in enlightenment, like, you're going to... That's where you get your purpose, you understand? That's where you find, like, if, if you can rise up, because this is just the first level of, con I mean, this is the first evolution of the levels of consciousness, you understand? This is like our human evolution of consciousness, you understand? But you might find that other species have different levels of consciousness, you understand? They, they, they might not be enlightened or feel love but you know love it's like i feel like all of the animals like we interpret these levels of consciousness in the very same vibration you understand like the vibration is the same but the maybe how we perceive it you understand how we understand it how we understand love maybe it's different you understand like logic because we are the ones who use logic so these animals they don't use logic so that's why so like as i said hell heaven like by now i'm sure it is obvious that like when you're at the bottom here you know from like pride let me not say pride because pride is it, it's, it's a little bit higher than hell you see when you when you have pride you can easily 
ascend towards enlightenment, you understand, compared to when you add fear. So when you add fear, when you operate on those levels of consciousness from fear downwards, then like that's where we can say you are likely to ex to come back to reincarnate because like the circumstances that you had in your previous life have caused you to come back here and like that was the only like you might find that it's even the the last chance that you have to reincarnate as a human you understand if you still have a problem with living with fear you understand so for some of us yes everyone lives with fear but if it's that if it's that intense and if it's that like because for some people obviously we don't have the same experiences but for some people you might find that their their fear is much more uncontrollable than others you understand and it's much it's, it's much more hereditary and genetic than other people you understand like they grew up with this thing from the moment they experienced like, like maybe they were raised in a an environment where it's all war and stuff like that so obviously your reincarnation is gonna drop you where you left off you know at fear so that's basically hell you understand hell or heaven is those are not dimensions but those are like how we feel the consciousness that we come up with on this planet you understand it's what di dictates the hell or heaven within us you understand but if you can look at it logically you'll understand that all of us here we are born into a planet that is basically pro programmed to trigger fear within us you understand so you might be at a higher vibration but it means that now you've been able to ascend through your reincarnations compared to other people but it's but the fact that remains is that we are still all in hell you understand because at the end of the day when we die that's when we're going to be able to transition from this lower levels of consciousness to a higher one and the what, what's what's nice about this is because when you are still on this planet you can perceive heaven you understand you have access to perceiving heaven for what it actually is you understand so as i said when you reach enlightenment this is just the human evolution consciousness you understand this is just the first level of consciousness that we have you know the first hierarchy of consciousness and then on top of that so i'll continue with this on the other video but i'm just going to introduce you on on what's going on on top of this level of consciousness right above enlightenment here we have the super conscious now where now you'll be able to have like a godlike mind you understand you you are you attain a godlike mindset a godlike health set you understand like everything about you you, you the energy that you have you have much more energy than an average person you know you you, you have like you vibrate at a very high frequency you understand people who are like people who are on this planet like they won't even you they won't even mess with you in any way because they can feel your energy already it's more than creative your energy you know it's now super creative so you are now at the higher level of you are at the second hierarchy of consciousness you understand above enlightenment where now you find emotions like i don't want to give emotions name but you'll find a place where you vibrate so high that now you feel like a god you know you feel like humans average humans and even preachers everyone like basically everyone on this planet has nothing compared to you you understand like they might have all the money and you might be broke and stuff like that but when you at that level of consciousness everything is possible on this planet you understand so that's many people who are creative and who do like who invent basically let, uh, let me put it this way that's where we in the inventory that's the inventory level of consciousness where now we can be able to draw things from other dimensions and then you know all the technology and stuff like that those people they've drawn that from higher dimensions you understand because 
the dimensions only exist to help us. So dimensions is, is like rooms, you understand? It's like rooms. So each and every room has your lifetime, you understand? The, 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 the part of you that has lived, it's like a light. A light. The, the, the part of you that has experienced light will have its own room. So that it can be stored for you to remember that what was learned there, you understand? So those are dimensions. Now when you, when you enter into other dimensions, you, that's where now you'll be able to like draw some information from the God level, from the God consciousness to help others to ascend. Because other people, they won't be able to ascend using the information that we have. Like it's not enough because they've reincarnated so, so much that now they've given up a spirit that, okay, we are in hell and we're just going to burn on this fire, you understand? On this fear, fire, fear, you understand? Instead of rising above and being at the highest level of consciousness, you know, the heavenly level of consciousness. So, yeah, guys, that's what I have for you on this video. So, like, what I need for you, like, basically, what you have to do, since I said, like, I'm going to drop another video explaining the superconscious mind, what you have to do now is that you have to subscribe and then please like this video if you do like it. And then, like, you can comment if you have a question and stuff like that. I don't mind answering them then and there but other than that guys yeah i'll just keep posting my content the ones that i think i need to put out there so that people can learn you understand so yeah guys i'll see you on the next one hope you enjoy this video mm -hmm.